Crashing down the centre, Ryan creates havoc in the rucks. With quick play, the ball, St George seek to catch the rival forwards out of position. But the alert proven saves many dangerous situations. Close to the 25, Rasmussen fires a pass to Smith to enable the backs to continue the attack. From the dummy half position, Walsh sends Huddard through a gap and the former Great Britain forward goes in for the Dragons' second try. A comfortable conversion by Langlands gives the Saints a handy 12-2 lead. Balmain are well served by Tutty's defence. St George use their inside backs effectively with Clay in the vanguard. Maintaining a fast temper, the Premiers vary their pattern with the forwards charging through the rucks, often taking two or more tacklers with them. Raper, Smith and Clay open up play as Pollard flashes onto well-directed passes, but he receives rugged treatment, especially at the hands of Yao Yi, who is called out for a warning by referee Cole Pierce. Melbourne television personality Graham Kennedy appears a trifle shocked, but Sydney's Don Lane accepts it as part of the game. With Balmain standing up close, Smith kicks over their heads. Clay follows through as Barnes fields the ball safely, but he's heavily grounded on the 25. Under heavy fire in possession, the Tigers could pay dearly for handling or passing errors. The forwards attempt to ruck the ball out, but lose it in the jarring tackles of their rivals. Snapping up the advantage, St. George press goalwards. Smith uses Ryan as a decoy to dispatch a delayed pass to Lumsden, but Mara has his man covered. Enjoying a huge territorial advantage, St. George hold the ball for long periods, but Balmain are untiring in their efforts to keep them at bay. St. George are doing their utmost to undermine the confidence of Balmain's completely new front row combination and Bolton is penalised for not putting the ball in straight. The Tigers have plenty of problems as their opponents receive good goal kicking opportunities. Langlands lands his fourth goal and Balmain's hopes are indeed slim as St. George take a 12 point lead. Ryan is on the receiving end of Tutty and Jones attempt to shake the ball free and assisted by Beetson they pile drive the 15 stoner into the turf. The Tigers' three surviving forwards from the 64 grand final, Bolan, Tutty and Proven use their guile to tighten their scrums. St George are penalised in their own half and Bass boys through the magical boot of Barnes have a chance to make up a little of the leeway. The kick is being taken about 50 yards out and 10 yards in from touch. And it's there all the way but Balmain still trail by 10 points. Trying to find a defensive loophole, Balmain throw the ball about, but Pollard intercepts as the half-time hooter sounds. Beaten by six points in 56 and by five two years ago, Balmain will need to improve sharply to get back into today's match. Premier Askin, MLA's Morton and Hills discuss their prospects, as does recently elected SCG trustee Arthur Morris and another cricket great, Stan McCabe. Bill Young, Commonwealth Games team manager, Dave Brown, former Australian rugby league captain, and record-breaking halfback Keith Holman. In the second half, St George run with the wind. Langlands follows his grubber kick through to take Tutty down heavily. Balmain strike back through Proben's penetrating burst. They're endeavouring to draw in the defence before sweeping the ball wide. Replacing Brian Sullivan, Dave Cooper sends to Boland, who switches the point of attack. But Beetson is firmly held by Gooley's replacement, Trevor Levin. Pacey Sid Williams, substituting for Bolton, is elusive, but Clay's rock-like defence holds fast. Accelerating, Tutty spears up the centre, but there's not the slightest sign of any slackening in the famous St George defensive screen as they drive the ball back into the ruck where they assert full control. Unable to make headway, Balmain take calculated risks. 
Barnes is up in the front line, but 5'8's Jones' kick flies off the side of his boot, striking Raper before Clay regains possession for St. George. The Dragons meet eager defence, but keep the ball in play as they're prepared to wait for openings. Clay to Huddett, who knocks on. Beatson gathers the loose ball, giving the Tigers a chance to turn defence into attack. Coming up into the back line, hoping to create an overlap, Barnes sends to Jones, but he's well marked by his opposite number, Clay. The Belvane skipper tries to get his team moving smoothly, and Proben makes ground, but lack of support causes the movement to break down. Harassed and hemmed in by their rivals, the Tigers are frustrated in their efforts to find a gap. They persevere, but are showing the effects of the torrid battle as loose passing results in loss of possession. And there's always a dragon on the spot to claim the ball. Tending to lose restraint in tackles, Boland is called out to receive a severe warning. The leader of the forwards, he's played over a hundred games for the Tigers. As Belmain tires, Clay's constructive play is a constant threat. Langlands is chiming in, but Yao Yi has Pollard marked. Beatson lashes out, making contact with Pollard's ankle before the ball touches the ground, and he's warned for deliberately conceding penalties. It's within range, and Langlands is on target for St. George to take a 16-4 lead. Skirting the ruck, Smith penetrates on numerous occasions, Balmain having to use desperate measures to contain him. The Dragons steam through as Raper sends to Ryan, and the law student dashes away to score close to the posts. His first try in seven grand finals for the Saints. A simple conversion for Langlands, and the Premiers gain a commanding lead of 21-4. to St. George move forward again, and they're on the way to their biggest winning margin since defeating West's 22-0 in 1961. Belmain struggle to hold them, but they're weary. Since beginning their unbeaten streak a decade ago, St. George have scored 36 grand final tries to five, and they're considerably adding to that record today. Four times they've beaten West's, Manly twice, East's and South's once, and seem certain to complete a trio of defeats on Belmain. Slow motion affords a close study of their flawless teamwork, handling, quick thinking and backing up. First entering the grade competition in 1921, St. George were four times runners-up before winning their initial premiership 20 years later. Over-anxious in their bid for possession, Balmain surrender penalties in the play the ball. Through Langland's missed goal, they gain a reprieve with Barnes running the ball out. State rowing representative Tutty takes over. Using his strength, Beatson makes ground and Levin painfully discovers he's got a pretty hard skull. Clearing their 25, Balmain spread the ball. Proven shooting up the middle until halted by Levin. Urged on by Barnes, the Tigers in a determined rally gradually make ground. Throwing the ball about, they continue the attack and with the defence on the wrong foot, Mara, a member of the 64 side, beats tacklers as he cuts in field. Pollard stops him, but the boys from Balmain are away again. Leo's crashing run has the St. George defenders groping until he too is taken by Pollard. Balmain defeated St. George in the first and second rounds of the competition, but a repeat performance in the grand final seems virtually impossible. From the blind side, Barnes weaves into the clear and Leo is in support. The front row is taken by King and loses the ball, which is gathered by Langley.
in possession. The Tigers have an opportunity to mount another attack, but they're slow to move on to the pass as St. George choke off the play. Tutty spearheads a raid, Jones beats Clay and kicks for winger Cross, who has an exciting race for the ball with Langland. Gathers just in time, but Balmain has the pin their own 25. Balmain receive a scrum penalty. Their supporters, perched on precarious foundations, shout encouragement as the Tigers follow Barnes up and under. Langlands takes the ball just short of the line, and St. George forwards line up to ruck it out. Re-entering Tiger territory, St. George shatter the defence as Raper speeds towards the line, but he's taken by Williams and Yao Yi, falling face first on a Yao Yi's knee. From the play the ball, Balmain are penalised right in front. An easy one for Langlands, who lands his seventh goal, giving St. George a 19 points advantage. Rasmussen's pass is deflected off Ryan's chest. Tutty grasping possession, but St. George win 23-4, taking their 11th successive premiership, a world record in any code of football.